Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I love shopping for fabric and notions and fun things all evolved around sewing. And some of those things I like to give as gifts, but some of them I like to give them to myself as gifts. So let me share some of my fun things for sewing. I love to find jewelry or fun things that look like tape measures. I have fun bracelets that look like tape measures and I have them in different sizes. And what's fun about these are the measurements are very accurate. So I really could use them as a tape measure, but they're a lot of fun to wear. And this is a big crossover bracelet. It's leather. So after a while, it gets that really soft, fun feel like leather. This is going to be a gift. It is a keychain, but it does open up to be that tape measure. It's made out of wood, so I know it's going to be nice and durable. From the same company, I have found a nice canvas tote bag and the handles are leather straps and the one is a strap that comes off and is a tape measure. My daughter loves to knit, so she does need to keep gauges. So I've picked up a necklace and it has all of these holes in it. And there's measurements along the side and this gives the gauge of your knitting needles. And to go along with that, this really fun blanket. What's really fun about this blanket, these grids end up being inch and quarter inch marks. So as she's knitting, she's gonna be able to have this on her lap and get the measurements. This is what I would call my stick, non-stick ideas of gifts or things that are fun to have. Quilter Select has this nice thick ruler so that we can use it for ruler work but we can use it for other things. I love that it has these holes where I can pick it up as I'm quilting and it has that great surface. So it really does hold that fabric. We can get a product called Grippy. We will just be able to spray that onto the back of our rulers and it makes them a little bit opaque. They're not sticky, they're grippy. So that surface really does hold that fabric as we are quilting or cutting our fabric out. This side has not been sprayed and you can see where the ruler moves, not the fabric. Where in this case, that ruler is gripping the fabric. When we use rulers, we do have to pick them up and move them to the next spot that needs to be cutting. So we do have to grip these rulers and move them. Well, we can get a little handle that helps us with the moving. So it looks like a little doorknob with the suction cup and it goes right on and it holds that ruler. We still have the room to hold the ruler down, but it gives us something to pick up. And as we're cutting, we're going to be able to move our ruler and it pops right off so we can use it for another ruler. This is a suction cup that I do have on my sewing machine. So we have a suction cup and a magnet. And this magnet holds things on. And it's a very strong magnet. So it can hold on very heavy metal things. This is on my machine with my little sewing machine snips. And it just suctions on and off. If you like to do machine quilting, but don't like wearing gloves, you can get a set of hoops. And with the two different sizes, you're going to be able to do different applications. So you have these little handlebars that you're going to be able to machine quilt. The smaller ones work really nice on a smaller bed of machine, but if you have a nice sit down, the large one also works great. These are made by Bernina and you can get them at a Bernina dealer. If you do work with any adhesives, as in spray basting your quilts together, using some adhesive like a heat and bond. The non-stick needles really work well with those products. There's a coating on these needles that prevent that sticky from building up on the needles. So we have some stick non-stick items. We can also have fun containers to put sewing supplies in like this great big thimble. 
you can get these at your local shop. You can get them in different colors. They're plastic and they're quite big. Another jewelry item you can get is a magnetic bracelet. So this bracelet has magnets in it. So we're going to be able to wear this and as we're hand sewing or hand basting, we have somewhere to put our pins because those pins just stick right on. It's a good way of keeping track of them and we don't have to look for our pin cushion. It's right here. These enamel charms are a lot of fun to use. Coat zippers, purses. So they're just a little charm that has a little clip on the end. We can put them on scissors and just fun things. There are many ways we can mark our quilts. Self erasing markers are a lot of fun. It's fun having those marks fade away so we don't have to wash them off or try to erase them off. If you're marking a long edge, you can get quilter's chalk line. So we have this chalk and we're going to fill it up inside of here. And then just like a carpenter's chalk line, we're going to be able to pull this out so you can pin the ends. And when you pounce that chalk, you end up with the chalk line and the chalk can be removed with the iron. I love to have fresh flowers and plants in my sewing room, but I can't always have them. So I was gifted these beautiful red roses. They're real roses, but they're preserved. And I have had these for months and they never change. They don't fade. They always look beautiful. So I always have the feeling that I do have my fresh flowers in my room. It's always fun shopping for fun gift items. But when those gifts are practical as well as pretty, well, that makes it even a whole lot more fun. So we have fun things that look like sewing notions and things that look like tape measures, bags, blankets, and fun products that just make sewing so much more fun. What gifts would you like to receive or would you like to give? Thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. <laughs> Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.